Hey guys, this looked like a fun one. It's a lot more work than I was expecting it to be. We're trying to find the area of this orange triangle. If you want to try it on your own, pause it right now because I'm going to solve it in three, two, one. We know the three sides of this golden yellow triangle. I want to find the area of it first. And we can do that with Heron's formula. It uses the semi perimeter, which is half of the perimeter. And then you just plug it into this formula right here. So let's do it for our golden triangle. For A, B, and C, we're going to plug in the sides 8, 4, and 6. And 8 plus 4 plus 6 divided by 2 is equal to 9. So in the place of all these S's, I'm going to plug in 9. And then we'll plug in 8 for the A, 4 for the B, and 6 for the C. And we can simplify this. We can bring down the 9 and all the parentheses. 9 minus 8 is equal to 1. 9 minus 4 is equal to 5. 9 minus 6 is equal to 3. So this will equal the square root of 9 times 15. And we can split this up into two separate square roots, square root of 9 times square root of 15. And the square root of 9 is equal to 3, so the area of this triangle is 3 root 15. But the area of a triangle is also equal to 1 half base times height, where this is the height of the triangle right here. So this will also equal 3 root 15. B stands for the base, and the base of this triangle is equal to 6. And then 1 half times 6 is equal to 3. And after we divide both sides by 3, we get h is equal to the square root of 15. And we can update this h to be square root of 15. Now let's bring back our orange triangle. I want to draw a line from this vertex up here that's parallel to this line. Let's make this line more bold and let's hide this stuff for a second. These two angles are called alternate interior angles. And since these two lines are parallel, these angles are congruent to each other. And then let's make this line bold and extend it a little bit. These two angles are called vertical angles and they are also congruent. And then this angle and this angle are called corresponding angles. Since these are parallel, these corresponding angles are going to be congruent to each other. Now we can focus on this triangle right here. We have these two base angles congruent, which means this is an isosceles triangle. So this side will also have a length of 4. And since this is 4 and the entire side length is 8, this piece will also be 4. Let's label the base of our orange triangle x. And now we can use Thales' theorem. It says if you have a triangle and a line cutting through that triangle parallel to the base, this ratio will be true. And if we put this on its side, it'll have the exact orientation of our triangle here. And we can set up our proportion. A is going to be equal to 6, B is going to be equal to x, and C and D are both equal to 4. Well, the only way 6 over x is going to be equal to 4 over 4 is if x is equal to 6. So that means the base of our orange triangle is going to be equal to 6. And now we're ready to find the area of our orange triangle. This height is the same as the height of our orange triangle. The area of our triangle is 1 half base times height, where the base is equal to 6 and the height is equal to square root of 15. 1 half of 6 is equal to 3, and that's going to be multiplied by the square root of 15. And that's the answer to our question. We can put a box around it. So in this problem, the area of this orange triangle is equal to 3 square root of 15 square units. And that is approximately 11.62 square units. How exciting. This is kind of a long one. If you actually finished it, comment a TV series you'd recommend watching. I need some suggestions.